every time I felt like maybe I could write something, I stopped to write. I don't know what I just said. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey, and today I'm actually doing a video that I've been suggested to do, but also is inspired by Joss from Squibble Reads. She just recently did this video where she talked about her 2017 goals, and she did her makeup while she did it. So I decided that that's what I'm going to do. Basically the way this video is going to go is I will be putting on my makeup, be kind of just life chatting with you guys about my goals for 2017. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So we're going to see if this lighting actually works, and if it doesn't, I apologize because I'm not used to putting on makeup in my camera. So as I'm putting on my makeup, I'm going to really try to stay focused because I cannot talk and do makeup at the same time, but I'm dividing this video into three different goal types. My first one I'll talk about is my reading goals, second one will be my writing goals, and finally I'll end with my channel goals. So first let's uh, cover up uh, these. For my reading goals, I'm kind of extremely, extremely over Goodreads. And I'm just like really sick of the site in general. I just, I'm not a happy camper just with them. Pretty much all of my reading goals have to revolve around going against Goodreads. So let's start with my my reading goals for 2016 here. It was The goal was technically to read 80 books. And about a week ago, straight up a week ago, I realized I wasn't going to make that 80. And I was just kind of disgusted with needing to read. 80 books. I just didn't understand why I needed to read 80 books and why I needed to make this goal of mine. So I ended up putting my goal down to 65. I don't even care because usually that would have bothered me but it didn't and I'm gonna make my goal. I think I'm at like 64 right now. So but that kind of goes into my 2017 Goodreads reading challenge. I'm actually only going to put on the site that I want to read one book and Riley did this uh, last year. She just read, well she read as many as she could, but for the goal she only put for a one uh, and I decided that's what I'm going to do and this also ties into Goodreads but I am not going to rate books in 2017. I think I tweeted about this a month ago that I was like not gonna rate books next year and the reason why I'm doing that is because I have felt extreme pressure uh, since I started booktube to rate everything I read and while that worked a lot and I think it shaped kind of my reading taste and how I look at books and how I read them I'm just kind of wishing I reverted back to how I used to read before I started my booktube channel. I kind of just read for entertainment and pleasure. And while I do very much believe that you should read books critically, I definitely believe that, I'm kind of just, I don't really care about it anymore. I just really want to read for myself. I want to read things that I enjoy. I don't want to feel like I'm being judged for how I'm writing a certain book. And that's why I'm not going to write my books anymore. I already feel like I have done this this past year when it comes to my wrap-ups. I feel like I sometimes will forget to say what I rated a book, so I still explain whether I liked it or not and what I did like about it and what I didn't like about it. So it's like I'm still, I'm still being honest, which I think is important. But on my Goodreads, if you're friends with me, you won't see that I rate any of the books I read. There will be a couple exceptions and that's gonna be on books that I feel like have really affected me and or might be part of my favorites collection uh, authors that I really like and really enjoy their books I'm still gonna support them in that way I'm gonna do my eyebrows now and I actually this is my least favorite part of um, doing my makeup I just hate doing eyebrows I think that's all I wanted to say about my reading goals so I'm not going to be rating books in 2017 and I'm not going to have a Goodreads goal really in 2017. I'm just kind of done with Goodreads as a whole so I don't give a shit. I've done, I'm just done. Let's blend these puppies out because they're really dark right now. That's as good as they're gonna get. They're gonna be really dark I feel like until I get my eyeshadow on. Eyeshadow is my favorite part. I love eyeshadow. Next we're gonna go to my writing goals and my writing goals for 2016 were for me to stop putting writing on the back burner and how I was going to start making writing priority number one. And I am so happy with myself that I feel like 
I completed that. I did really good this year when it came to writing. I think a lot of that helped with my writing monthly vlogs that I did, but I appreciate all of the support I received from everybody who watched those videos. Before I sat down to do this, I rewatched my January writing vlog and I also rewatched my goals for 2016. And I am like really proud of how far I've come in the past 12 months with writing. Um, in January, I was just trying to complete my Red Riding Hood story and I pursued that to get an agent. I didn't get an agent for it. I've also stopped querying for that project. Um, mostly, mostly because I know that what I'm currently working on is the one. So I know I just feel very good about that one. I think this whole year of try, like, put dipping, dipping my toes, you can say, into the publishing world has really taught me a lot of things, and it also gained me a lot of confidence in my own writing, just because I did have a decent amount of agent interest in that story so I definitely I felt validated as a writer that this is something I can pursue and something I want to pursue and something I'm going to continue to pursue in 2017. I'm going to real quick wet my brush because I'm putting on shit, um, YDK eyeshadow from Urban Decay. The shimmer goes on better and sticks to the eye lid better if you wet um, the brush first and there's not as much fallout. The writing goals for 2017. I am currently 65,000 words into my NaNoWriMo 2016 project. Right now the working title is Sharp Hollows, but that is subject to change if I no longer feel like that fits the story. Um, you'll see all of this in my December writing vlog as well. The first draft, I'm is very long. I don't see this ending until about 100,000 and I didn't want that. I want it to be shorter than 100,000 words just because based on experience of reading different things, it's definitely harder to get an agent when if your book is over 100,000 words. So I don't want it to be that long. We'll see. For reference, my Red Riding Hood story was 77,000 words. That's what I queried with and I'm about 12,000 away from that on my current project and I am nowhere near done. They haven't even gone to their final destination yet. So this is my goal for 2017. I'm going to be querying again and I am really hoping that I will get an agent by the end of next year. And you heard it here first, but this is something I'm working very, very hard at. I'm trying to finish my first draft by the end of January. After that, I'm going to let it go, let it ride for two weeks before I jump right back in. Go through and edit it again. After that, I'm actually gonna be sending it to Riley and Kenya. Probably should look for a um, critique partner. And then I will be querying next year for this project. I just put a lighter shimmer on the inner corners of my eye just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. If I can find the brush I'm looking for. I think that's it for writing goals. Let's move on to my channel goals. 2000. 16 for my channel. I know I've been very very inconsistent all year. I know this and I apologize I felt very unmotivated with my channel. I felt like I was regressing backwards as well. Pretty much I stopped consistently uploading around April of this year. I feel like a lot of that was because I was taking a lot of priority into writing. I'm really trying to get all of the videos that I want to make and put them on my channel. You guys know I'm really good friends with Riley from Riley Marie and I know she's been going through this as well with her channel and I just I want to stop uploading things that I feel like I should upload based on booktube culture and I kind of just want to do what I want to do. I felt like I was in a funk the last half of the year. And this kind of goes into the writing goals. I think a lot of the reason why I kind of took a step back from YouTube this year subconsciously was because of how much writing I was doing and how much I want to pursue writing and authoring as a career. And I feel like there's always this negative stigma for YouTubers turned writers. Not that I'm judging anybody in, in the millions of subscribers of who writes and puts out books. I feel like a lot of them are memoirs. I feel like a lot of 
like those YouTuber memoirs that come out don't, they didn't, I don't know how to say this without offending people. I wanted to be a writer when I grew up. I went to school so I could be a writer when I grew up. That's just my thoughts on it. When I get an agent and when I get published, I don't want to be considered a YouTuber turned author because I feel like that's not who I am. To me, YouTube has always been a hobby and this is something I was able to share my love of reading and also my love of writing um, to a wider audience and make friends. I just feel like I was kind of scared for a while there of how I would be perceived trying to become a writer. I think that's also why I kind of just lost motivation to do this. <laughs> Side note, I'm gonna do my bronzer right now. I just started doing bronzing a week ago. Like I was really hesitant of doing bronzing just because I'm so pale I didn't think I could. But Sephora kind of convinced me to do it and I'm probably doing it wrong but you know screw that I don't care that was kind of like my thoughts on being a writer and being a youtuber I stopped doing top 5 Wednesday this year as well and I felt really guilty about that and I've noticed that those videos I had the most views on for my channel were the top 5 Wednesday videos I want to do an upload schedule you can't even tell how much makeup I'm putting on this sucks this video sucks next I'm doing <laughs> my eyeliner eyeliner I actually really love to do um, when it turns out correctly. I'm gonna be quiet while I real quick do this or else I will fuck it up and I don't wanna do that. eyeliner is done. I always feel completely naked when I don't have my liquid eyeliner on. Like that is my, that's my favorite part. Besides, I'm actually really partial to mascara as well. So in conclusion, I'm going into 2017 just trying to be so much more relaxed and not pressured to read what I feel like I should be reading. I don't want to be pressured into caring about what other people think I rate my books. When it comes to writing, it's definitely to finish the current project that I'm working on and pursue that and to get an agent. And then for my channel, I want to start up, just upload more things that I would like to see myself do and not worry about what I feel like I should upload. I'm still obviously, I guess I haven't said this, I'm obviously going to be putting up more book videos and writing videos like that is the reason why I have a channel in the first place is to share those things with you guys and then to also upload once a week. I do work full time so that obviously has to be priority. Second priority is going to be writing and then third priority is going to be reading because I wouldn't have priority four which is my channel without reading so that's kind of where my priorities lie when it comes to uh, how I spend my time. I do actually hate lipstick. I hate picking out lipstick. I hate shopping for lipstick. So I'm just gonna swap this pink on and I don't even care. Just to say my look is complete. So there is my completed look. That's what I usually, this is what my makeup usually looks like every day. Thank you for watching and sitting with me and talking to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!